most of my generation grew up under dictatorship. People were jailed for discussing politics. People used to get shot for protesting. People disappeared for protesting. So we grew up in a culture of fear. As a photographer working for one of the biggest papers in Nairobi, my work was to document what was going on in the country. I was traumatized from seeing the violence and taking pictures of that. I said, I can't just be the guy who takes pictures, then moves on. I said, yeah, 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 I can't be that silent witness. So I quit my job, and that began my journey into activism. At 18 years old, I decided to go to a convent because I thought that was the only way to help people. But when I was preparing for my final votes, I have it out. I don't want to be in a black habit. It doesn't help people. It doesn't say anything to people. So I came out. And I start thinking that perhaps working for human rights could be an answer to try to be a real sister to everyone. That's why I'm here. Kenya right now has a new constitution that allows me to picket, protest, demonstrate. But the police still have that dictatorship mentality. And I have a mark on my face where I got beat up by a cop for asking the question, why? And this year alone, Kenya police has shot dead 13 people in peaceful protest. Yes. Esta sentencia confirma que es posible juzgar a militares del fuero civil. Qué bueno, pues felicidades a todos. Los de jurídico han de estar bien contentos. Sí, sí. Este momento para nosotros es muy importante porque es la primera que un juez civil sanciona a una autoridad militar. Since 2009, we started receiving reports of people disappeared. Their families were taken by the authorities, by militars, by the police. Since then, 1,299 persons disappeared. One of the objectives of the disappearances is to cause terror, frighten people. So we decide that we have to do something for that. So, I will use up injustice. You fight back, you fight back, and you fight back. Courage is doing something and knowing that there will be consequence, but you're willing to pay the price. Courage is when every single love in the body is telling you, sit down, shut up, and you stand up and shout. In every protest that we do, we always strive to be as visual as we can be. Because we know people don't forget images, people don't forget color, people don't forget sound. People talk about it, and that means that the message goes beyond the city where we do the protest. The whole country gets to hear about it, and the world gets to know about it. We are crazy enough to think that through what you can change our community and change our world. What we offered families of the people who were disappeared is to come to a meeting every week where families with the same situations help each other. And we start accompanying them to go to the authority and to tell them, look, this happened to me, so you have to do something. 1,299 persons disappeared. We have found 51 alive and 71 by DNA. Freedom House is helping us to empower people in democracy values, so that people discover that they are the power of their own rights. If we get that, we did it. When I began, I was alone, but along the way, people joined me. The bigger the community, the bigger the impact. Because when you have numbers, you have people power. Freedom House is a necessary voice to human rights defenders, and they've been very supportive in our work. I do believe that simple people like me 
and I you can do the change. You're free. That sounds very nice. Freedom. Free. It's a good feeling to be free. <laughs>